emotionally healthy, there's no way we will be either. And if we're on prescription drugs, even worse. Prescription drugs in this way actually shorten our lives. Prescription drugs kill us. Yes, literally, not figuratively, because they stress out the liver. Tell that to the next doctor who prescribes multiple drugs. One drug, okay, I can sort of understand one drug if you're on it. But multiple drugs, polypharmacy, oh my God, why do we do this to ourselves? Because the doctor told us? And on top of all that, prescription drugs force us to expend our nutrients, to use our nutrients to detoxify the drugs, our B-complex, our vitamin C, our vitamin A, and yes, our vitamin E. The more prescription drugs you're on, the more vitamin E you need. So vitamin E protects the cells, it protects, it protects everything in the body, but no more important system in the body. There's no, there's no greater benefits to the body than the benefits that you get from vitamin E in the heart and the blood. This is where mainstream medicine actually does recognize that vitamin E may have some benefits. Medical professionals actually first became aware of the power of vitamin E from a healing perspective when it came to heart disease. Vitamin E is a natural blood thinner. Vitamin E's ability to thin the blood is so significant that doctors will actually tell you not to take vitamin E before surgery and after surgery because they're concerned of too much blood thinning. That's not going to happen. You gotta, I've never heard of that happening. It's almost impossible for a vitamin to create that much blood thinning. Nonetheless, that's, how, that, that's the degree that vitamin E's blood thinning properties are recognized. Even, the, even your doctors know this. Surgeons know this. And that alone, just blood thinning alone, just the ability that vitamin E has to keep blood, blood, uh, blood cells and blood moving through your circulatory system, your 60,000 miles of circulatory vessels, just that alone makes it incredibly valuable and important. Blood clotting, blood clogging, blood coagulation is super tightly regulated. There's like 80 different steps that it takes, biochemical steps that it takes to clot the blood. It is highly regulated. It is the most tightly regulated of all the processes in the body. That's the most tightly regulated. So if blood is clotting incorrectly, there's big problems. And guess what? Blood thinning drugs are the best selling, among the best selling drugs. They're in the top 10 best selling drugs every year because basically we have an epidemic of dirty blood, of clotted blood, of coagulated blood. Blood clotting is tightly regulated, yet many of us, and certainly if we're dealing with chronic degenerative diseases, whether we've been diagnosed or not, we probably got a blood coagulation issue. All disease is cell disease. And all cell disease is dirty, sludgy, toxic, coagulated, clotted blood. They call it sepsis. Uh, and they'll tell you, doctors will tell you, that sepsis is a, is a life-threatening condition. You end up in the intensive care unit. And they're right. It is a life-threatening condition because, as I say, blood clotting is not supposed to happen. Sepsis is dirty blood, clotted blood. But what we are suffering from en masse as a culture is subclinical sepsis. That is sepsis that's not bad enough, dirty blood that's not bad enough to, to put you in the ICU, in the intensive care unit, but it's bad enough that your cells aren't getting fed and your body's not being detoxified. Oh yeah, that's right, blood cells help detoxify too. The blood system is how wastes are carried out of the body, particularly acid wastes. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back with more good health information and your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number right after this break. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 at brightsideben.com or also benfuchsarchives.com. Both pages have search engines. If you miss a program, you can search topics or search shows. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, by the way. And also you can check out my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products right off of the websites. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites as well. Okay, so we're talking vitamin E and the heart and blood from... Uh, this is from the Lancet Diabetes Endocrinology Journals, published online. The risk of developing cardiovascular disease is almost twice as high in patients who develop type 2 diabetes before the age of 40. If that's not a good reason to restrict your intake of 
diabetes-inducing foods, most of the foods that we eat. I don't know what is, but even more importantly, it underscores the nature of primary health issues versus secondary health issues. Most of the diseases we suffer from are secondary health issues that follow blood sugar problems and digestive problems, and you can throw the thyroid and the adrenal into the mix too, but basically it's digestive and blood sugar, digestive and blood sugar, digestive and blood sugar. Work on the digestive system, stabilize the blood sugar, and most long-term chronic progressive diseases will improve themselves. Digestion and blood sugar, digestion and blood sugar. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the heart and uh, blood and vitamin E. And let's see if there's anything else I want to say here. And then I, I want to get to, I want to get to some of these hormones that we can use uh, over the counter, particularly something called pregnenolone, also DHEA. We'll be doing that in uh, in the next few days as we continue talking about hormone health, fatty hormone health, fatty nutrients, and the skin. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Let us go to David in Texas. Welcome to the bright side, David. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, hi. Good morning, Ben. Uh, good morning. Doing good, man. Hey, you and I have spoke a few times in the past on a success story. Oh, good. I've got Graves' disease. Remind uh, me real quick. It. So you, oh. Remind me, you use supplements for your Graves, which is hyperthyroidism for the listeners? That That's correct, yeah. Um, nice. You know, I, like you tell everybody, I got my gut in shape first. You know, I started on a very good probiotics regimen, um, digested enzymes. Uh, I also take a product called Zypan. Um, nice. I love Zypan, digestive enzyme. Very yeah. good. Very good. Good yeah, deal. And, and then, of course, I take the tangy tangerine. I step on it a couple times a day. Um, that's awesome. And, what did your doctor and, say? And I supplement. Um, and that's what I want to talk to you about because okay. I did go to my doctor this morning. And okay. I get monthly blood work done. And my blood work has been great ever since okay. I've been on your regimen. And I quit taking the tapazol and the nasty okay. poison that was killing my thyroid. How'd you feel so when anyway, you stopped the tap? Is, how'd you feel, real quick, I'm sorry to inter keep interrupting you. How'd you feel when you stopped the tap is all? I felt much better. I feel better than I ever have. Is that uh, amazing? I feel better now than I have in 20 years. I'm a 49-year-old man, and I can outperform most 20-year-olds in just about anything. You Congratulations, know? Really, my mind man. Is sharper than it ever has been. Awesome. Um, my sexual stamina is, I mean, incredible right now. Uh, awesome. You know, stuff awesome. It all awesome. has been declined as kind of reversed. Yeah, no. and, and if you didn't listen to this program or you were like one of the 99% of Americans who just doesn't pay attention, you would have thought it was an inevitable part of aging and all that fun you're having now, all that mental clarity and sex and strength and, and vibrancy you have, you wouldn't be getting and you would just assume that it's just the way it is. That's the tragedy, the whole thing. I, I agree. It's, it's a tragedy. It's horrible. I can't believe that the American public is is being bamboozled. Ben, you should be our our, our, our surgeon general. You know, you should be up there. You know, <laughs> I stay away from uh, politics. I stay away from politics, no, except for I'm, I'm, I'm totally being entertained by Donald Trump. I'm finding him a little, yeah. although less entertaining lately. I have to say, he was entertaining at first. Yeah. <laughs> All those guys, you know, they're, 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 they're just such a, a ridiculous mess, isn't it? There used to be a song by. Temptations a long time ago called a ball of confusion, and it's no That's different what it is. than it was back it, then. It serves so, so it anyway, serves somebody to have us confused. Yes. Anyway, let's go. Let's cut to the chase here. I'm, I apologize for for distracting you. Yeah. So I went to the doctor this morning, got my monthly lab results. Um, they've all been coming back fine, and uh, my my endo uh, was explaining to me that um, my Graves' disease caused my metabolism to. David. Oh, no. I think we lost David. David, call back. I was just getting into your story there. I apologize. I don't think I did anything. I don't think we did anything. I'm no, sorry, David. I'm still here. Oh, Are you there? Oh, you there? Uh, I hear you now. Okay. So, uh, so okay. what I got a bunch of calls I want to get to, David. Uh, what's I'll, the, I'll, I'll tell make me. it quick. I'll make it quick. Yeah. So I went, I went to my endo, and um, she was saying that my metabolism has is, is, you know, gone hyper overdrive as well while I was on the law. Okay. Grace for so long, and that my plaque count has gone up way up in on my in my arteries got it and she basically told me exactly I mean, what her exact words were is that i'm a uh, you know candidate I'm a for a heart, heart attack, attack. I, yeah yeah no, I, I understand. Have a stroke or sudden death at, at any time unless i okay. start 
or treatment, you know. Get Here's a couple yeah. things real quick for you, David, okay? First of all, continue doing everything you're doing. Uh, redouble on any, uh, uh, any digestive symptoms. Just redouble on being aware of all your digestive issues and sugar issues. I'd be going to zero tolerance on sugar. But what's a little troubling is I'm the there. history. Okay, good. Well, the, the, what's a little troubling is your history. So it may be that you've built up a lot of plaque when the body is hypermetabolic, when it's moving really fast, you're going to generate a lot of blood fats and and that can cause problems, especially if you're not healing, which is all problems that happen with Graves' disease. Chelation therapy. This is what I would be doing if I were you. Look into uh, uh, intravenous chelation therapy. You can do it orally too, but at your, you know, given your history, I'd be doing intravenous chelation therapy with EDTA. Uh, you want to um, just look it up in the phone book or Google it wherever you're at, and there's usually somebody, a chiropractor, who can do it for you. That's what I would be doing if I were you. Then you, also oral chelating agents can help. Uh, NAC and acetylcysteine, algae can be orally chelating. Uh, any kind of algaes, spirulina, chlorella, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then selenium is very important for the heart and also chelating, also has some chelating properties. The ultimate selenium sulfur has chelating properties. Nothing is more chelating. Well, I don't want to say that, but vitamin C is tremendously chelating. So make sure you're using vitamin C, high doses of it, and even intravenous vitamin C. When 3, you, know, you may want to go the IV things. route, and if you're doing 3,000, that's pretty good, but make sure you're dividing the doses up so you don't urinate, urinate what, you're do what you don't use. Also, vitamin E can be okay. protective against rancid fat and rancid plaque. We'll talk about that here in the next few days, how cholesterol goes rancid, and that's really the problem with, it, with cholesterol is the rancidity, or it's one of the main problems with cholesterol is the rancidity of it. Vitamin E can protect against that, so make sure you're using vitamin E as well. High doses, 400 international units a day. Dave, i got to motivate. Man, I got okay, a bunch I'm of there. calls I want to get to. Thanks so much can for your call. Can I Appreciate ask you one, one more question? I sure. Just one, one, one quick question. Um, okay. I, uh, I had a friend of mine suggest that I start taking half a teaspoon of baking soda daily to make my body less uh, acidic and more alkaline. Uh, that's your, not your input. Well, that. yeah, baking soda it does have some benefits, but b b uh, the body is designed to alkalinize itself by breathing by exhaling, by carbon dioxide, blowing off carbon dioxide in the exhale. So yeah, sodium bicarbonate may help you. I know Dr. Mark Circus talks about it. I'm still not clear on exactly on how it bypasses and uh, it, the stomach acid, but apparently it does, and that's what Dr. Circus talks about. So it wouldn't hurt you. Uh, don't take too much, and definitely don't take it with your meals, but uh, exhalation is the best way to alkalinize the body, and inhalation also. Inhalation and exhalation. Respiration is the best way to alkalinize right the on. body. David, God bless you, man. Have a beautiful day. Take care. All right, hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Mary in Oregon, what's going on? How you doing, Mary? I um, have been doing colonics, and when I was doing the colonics, the therapist wanted me to do a small intestinal cleanse. Okay, uh, how, how did she want you to do an intestinal cleanse? Uh, she's, she says there's this, the, this company sells uh, an herb colon cleanse kit, It'll yeah, well, the, I, right. I, I have a problem with those, Mary from Oregon. Me that too, you, that's why I'm calling. I got said, a problem with those things. You don't need yeah. any of that stuff. I, I don't like when people exploit health. You know, it's not fair. We're all worried about our health, not all of us, but some of us really want to take care of our health. And you get these companies just exploiting it. This is why I love Longevity so much, because it talks about the basic nutrients, the mighty 90 essential nutrients. You need your mighty 90 essential nutrients. You don't need any... You, you, Fasting is the best way to clean your colon, Mary, and it won't cost you a penny. Fasting is the best way. Fiber also will help. Grind up flax seeds. That's also good. Of course, you want to make sure you're, you're repopulating gut bacteria. You know, the problem with these herbal remedies and herbal detox and herbal cleanses is now you just give your body more work to do. You know what I'm saying? A fast yeah. calms the body down. You know, if you're constipated and you fast for a day or two days or three days, you're going to have the best bowel movement ever at the end of two or three days because your body's going to naturally clean itself out when you stop putting the crap in. 
The problem with these formulas is now you just got more work for the body to do. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a fan, put it that way. I don't want to step on any toes here and offend anybody, but I'm just not a fan of, uh, of these cleansing formulas. I hope that helps, Mary. Are you the Mary that I sent a uh, product out to, by the way? Yes. Do you got my, did you, it come in handy. Oh, good. I'm glad. I t- I'm sorry it took so long, Mary. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. Okay. Have a beautiful, have a beautiful holiday. New Year. Thanks for calling. Okay, let's go to David in Alabama. 